Hi, I'm Mrs. Meyer, and I teach orchestra at Marshall Middle School. Orchestra is where you play a violin, a viola, a cello, or a string bass. And today I'm going to show you a video of all those instruments in action, so you can hear what they sound like. We are hoping that orchestra would be something you would want to do next year in sixth grade. And in January, you're going to be signing up for classes, and it would be wonderful if you would pick orchestra as one of your classes. As you watch the instruments in action, I want you to be thinking about how they sound and how they're played. Sometimes string instruments are played sitting up really tall on your chair, and sometimes they're played standing, and sometimes they're played with the instrument on, their shoulder, in, on your shoulder. So as you watch the performances, I want you to be thinking about what instrument would be a best fit for you. Hi, my name is Aiden, and I play the violin in Marshall Orchestra. I just wanted to say one of the best things I liked about orchestra was being able to play my instrument at school and having the awesome teachers there helping me through it. Welcome to Marshall. This is the violin, the smallest and the highest pitch instrument in the string family. It sits on your shoulder when you play it. The highest string sounds like this, the E. The lowest string sounds like this. That's the G string. And then we have an A string and a D string. The instrument does have what we call a shoulder rest. The shoulder rest is support for the instrument, so when you play it, it's much more comfortable. It just goes on and off the instrument quite easily. The other parts of the instrument we have our, of course, the strings. Then we have this long black part of the instrument called the fingerboard. This is the bridge. You can kind of see why it's called the bridge. And it's not glued onto the instrument, so it's very important that we not put our instrument down on its nose or the bridge. And be careful to not drop your instrument. This is called the tailpiece. Just like a dog or a cat, the violin has a tail. We have fine tuners that help us tune the instrument. We have sound holes where the sound comes out and they look kind of like cursive Fs. We have pegs, one peg for each string, and we have a scroll, scroll roll. The instrument also has a belly button. The violin is also very similar to the next instrument that I'm gonna show you, the viola. And as the string instruments get bigger, the parts of the instrument also get bigger. But all of the instruments have the basic, basically the same parts. So once you learn one of the string instruments and the parts on them, you can transfer that to the other instruments. I'm gonna play a little bit of violin for you. This song is a very old song. It's probably 300 years old, and it was written by a composer named Johann Sebastian Bach. My name is Maya and I'm in the Marshall Orchestra and something I like about orchestra is that we get to play almost every single day so it gives us lots of practice so we can get better.
Hello, sixth graders. I'm Kat, and I play the viola for Marcus Orchestra. You're going to love it, and I hope you have fun. Hi, everyone. I'm Miss Lithelm, and I teach orchestra at Parker and Craig High Schools. I'm going to show you today my viola. Now, a viola is a lot like a violin, but it is a little bit bigger and a little bit deeper. It's a beautiful instrument, has four strings, and we like to use a bow to play it. You should join orchestra. The viola, I consider the big brother or the big sister of the violin. Here's the violin, and here's the viola. It's just a little bit bigger. It also has a lower sound. Let's listen to how the viola sounds. Here's the highest string and the lowest string and the two strings in the middle. The viola strings are the same as the cello, A, D, G, and C. The viola sounds like this. song you might recognize. If you guessed Old MacDonald, you were right. The viola can also do songs that we know that are a little bit more popular. For example, If you guessed Star Wars, you were right. The viola is a great instrument, and a lot of people like the mellow sound of the viola and like also how it's played on the shoulder. This is the cello. The highest string on the cello is the A string. And the lowest string on the cello is the C string. When you're first learning a cello or any other string instrument, you start with scales. Once you get to be an advanced player, you can start playing music that is a little more difficult and takes a lot of practicing to learn. But when you learn it, you're really proud of yourself. Here's a song by Johann Sebastian Bach. Thank you. 
Hi, my name is Isabella. I play the cello in the Marshall Orchestra. One thing I will say is to take as many field trip opportunities you have. They are honestly so fun and you learn so much from them. And that's it. Bye! <laughs> Cello. I'm Mr. May and I teach at Marshall and this is a bass. See you soon. This is the string bass. It's the biggest of the string family and is really fun to play. I'm going to start by playing some pizzicato for you. This is a little jazz blues lick that I think you'll really like. You can also play with the bow and that's called playing arco. Highest string on the bass with the bow is the G string and the lowest string is the E string. There's two strings in the middle, the D string and the A string. I'm going to play a little dance for the, you on the bass using the bow. So string bass players play in orchestras, but they also play in bands, jazz band and regular band. This is a very versatile instrument. It's big, but it is fun to play. So if you're interested in the lower pitches and a little bit bigger instrument, the string bass would be a great fit for you. Hi, my name is Marissa and I play the violin. And I just wanted to welcome all of you new sixth graders to Marshall. And I hope you guys have a good year. Bye.